When using plug-in boilerplate, there are some technical points that you should be considering. When you submit your plugin to WordPress repository for approval, you can only upload the zip file and WordPress extracts all the information from your zip file. The most important thing in the zip file is the plugin name at this point. WordPress uses plugin name to auto-generate plugin slugs. This slug serves two purposes. It's used as a URL for WordPress plugin hosting server and also serve as a homepage for your plugin at wordpress.org. Second, this is the directory name of your plugin when it's downloaded or installed from the WordPress plugin repository. Plugin slug is a lowercase version of your plugin name where spaces are replaced by the dashes. For instance, if your plugin is named as like sharer for Facebook, its URL will become like dash sharer dash for dash Facebook all lower cases. Let's have a look at some of the examples. The name of the plugin is very simple event list and its URL is auto generated by WordPress on the basis of its name. If we download the plugin, the directory name is the same as of the URL slug. It's worth noting here that it's the same name as provided in PHP comment block for this plugin. In another example, if we go to our social media share button plugin homepage, you will notice that it has a long descriptive name that does not correspond to its URL slug. However, if you download this plugin, the directory name, uh, let me download it first. Once it's downloaded, if you go to the plugin folder and extract it, you'll notice that the plugin name is, the directory name is the same as the URL slug. To explain this scenario, let's check PHP comment block for this plugin. Notice the plugin name defined in the PHP comment block corresponds to the uh, plugin URL over here. Now the question arises why its so home page shows a different name. Can you point out the reason? Pause the video and try to find the answer at your own. It's a little challenge for you. Welcome back. I hope you found the answer at your own. For those who couldn't find it, the reason for this difference is that the plugin homepage is showing the name defined in the readme file found in the plugin directory. If we go to the readme file for this plugin, and open it up, you will notice that the plugin name is exactly the same as defined on the plugin home page. If I upload the Rocket Boost plugin as is, WordPress will give its slug like, uh, for instance, if I go to this page, uh, here is the plugin name, WordPress will give a name like uh, Rocket-Books-Shelf. So the plugin directory name will be including the word shelf. Whereas, currently our plugin directory name is without the word shelf. Such practice may create problems for us in future. To understand the problems clearly, let's recap. Boilerplate generator provides us two input fields concerning our problem. One is for plugin name and other is for plugin slug. The plugin generated through plugin boilerplate uses plugin slug as a base. It uses this plugin slug to create plugin directory name, plugin text domain, and for class name prefixes. Whereas WordPress.org uses plugin name to create URL slug and its directory name. To address this discrepancy, we should always use plugin name corresponding to the plugin slug in the plugin boilerplate generator. And if for some reason you want to have an elaborative name at the plugin homepage, you may use the readme file to fulfill this requirement. I hope it gives you a clear understanding of how the plugin boilerplate generator works. We shall look at the boilerplate file structure in the next lesson. Thank you for watching.